talking purely hypothetical. Let's just say a team that uh, um, you know that you used to be part of um, had two superstar players that you put together on that team, and then after your departure and the coach's departure, they reportedly didn't want to play there anymore. Would that hypothetical situation surprise you in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> Carol? Let's talk about other hypothetical situations, <laughs> like uh, you know. Well, I didn't say one. Till, of, I didn't say one. How until Trump concedes or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know, say one of them had a long beard or anything like that. You know, I just wanted to just throw that out to you, Daryl. Yeah, let's let's, let's, uh, let's talk about T, what TJ wants to talk about. <laughs> you got, All right, you got, you got a question? I do oh, have a question. Okay, you always ask good questions before we send Daryl out the door. Hey, Daryl, how you doing, man? Welcome hey, to Philly. Hey, what's up, man? So, question. You are president of basketball ops, and Elton Brand is the GM. I'm just kind of mm-hmm. wondering yep. how you two work together and what that synergy is like Very with those good. two positions. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, the whole group, including Elton and I, just got thrown into the deep end, and uh, hopefully we're we're doing all right. Um, so that, that'll that evolve over time. And But, you know, I think one reason that I think there's now five or six teams, you know, you know with former Houston Rockets folks running them, uh, I give a lot of responsibility to the people around me, and uh, Elton's going to have a lot of that, and I have a lot of faith in him, and the fact that he wanted to join forces with me is is still something I'll re- always remember, and you know it's uh, it's great. I uh, I'm I'm excited. So, you know he's going to be doing a lot of the calls, a lot of the a lot of the analysis, and we're going to be working together with. You know he actually brought in a couple other guys that are really strong and Prosper and Peter, Dinwiddie, and you know it's 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 a strong group. I think uh, we I learned pretty quickly this is a. A group uh, we can work with. I love Doc too, man. That's you awesome. guys got a great setup oh, yeah. there, Daryl. So, can... Doc as well. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think he was please. talking front office, but yeah, Doc is uh, Doc is just a treasure that I get to work with him again. Top notch yeah. people there, man. You know, yeah. top notch. And Daryl, no, I'm, I'm out here on the West Coast. So. Josh Harris and David Blitzer credit. I mean, they're you know they were like, let's we're doing this. You know, so that, that's that's pretty cool. So Daryl, uh, I, I guess it, does does Elton sit shotgun or and you drive <laughs> to the airport or, or how does that work? Just because oh, I don't drive, you know that, right? What? Um, I, I yeah. didn't know, no, I didn't know that. You do not drive, Daryl? Are you serious? Not real. I mean, not really. Yeah, just uh, I'm on my phone too much and I'm, I'm just too <laughs> dangerous. So I, I've decided Responsible. for, yeah, for safety humanity, first. I don't drive very much. Look, you yeah. you just refuse to be hands free. Is basically what you're saying. You just refuse. You know, you're hands I, on yeah, but hands I just, free. I just refuse to endanger people. That's my. You're a good <laughs> <my> man. <thing. laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.